Ready, set, go. Greetings, undetermined spectators of the World Wide Web. I am Tall Ranky Guy, and welcome to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. This is exactly what it sounds like. And yes, if you're wondering, this is the game that is that was made by the Game Grumps. So I am doubly excited to play this. Um, if, yeah, we got a bunch of dad tips down here, uh, but we're gonna get we're gonna hop right into this. I should admit I have seen some of this get played uh, because Mark Flatter is playing it, but this is also one of those games that you know allows for a little bit of replayability. Treat people better than they treat you. Oh, that's such great dad advice. Such great dad advice. Oh gosh. I'm already doing the dad puns. <laughs> dad. Dad, wake up! Okay. Okay. Um, five, actually, usually when I get woken up, I wake up right away. So uh. that's just a little bit thing about me. I finally, open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. Sound sounds about right. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Amanda Panda. Uh. Amanda. Oh, this is our this is our daughter. So. She's she, she looks like a cool kid. Yikes, Dad! Yikes, Dad! Breath. Go brush your teeth. I think I will go do that. Always carry a pocket knife. I used to always carry a pocket knife. They really stepped up the production value in episode five. Ha! <laughs> I see. Oh dear, I love these. It's okay if you don't come in first. Just make sure you have health and Oh, oh gosh! I have to build a dad. Um, I have to know what I look like. Uh, well, I know one thing. I am skinny. Don't got. I don't got much. I don't have much. Uh, I don't have much body hair. But in this case, I'm a dad, so I'll put some on there. So this will be like a weird dad version of me. Um, got a bit more of a jawline. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. Hair. Oh man, so much hair. What do we got here? No hair. Aaron hair, as in Aaron from Game Grumps. Aaron hair, Danny hair. Okay, so I have like, yeah, that looks about right. Uh, let's see what I got. What we got to look at. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I like either this swoopy hair or side part hair. I'm more of a side part hair guy myself. So I'll go with that. Nice. Okay. Eyes. Moving on to the eyes. I don't really like those those black piercing pupils that we got going on right now. Maybe maybe those? Maybe. Perhaps. Those look a little those look very sneaky. Those look even sneakier. Those look at they're looking at me like they got planned for me. Downturn dies, that looks tired. And I am tired. I am very tired. But this game doesn't need to know that. Where was it where were the other ones? Uh, not quite. Were these the ones that was it? No. Let's go. Let's go with that one. I like that. Yeah, nose. I got a I got a big pointy nose. This is what I got. How about that? That looks better. Okay, so it's not super huge, but it's at least it's got the weird sort of bump sort of thing that I go on, I think. I rarely look at my nose. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that works. That works for me. My brows, my brows are actually slightly darker than the rest of my hair. Uh, they're actually a rather dark, eh, not that dark. Try that, sure. Sure, yeah. And, uh, 
see if we can find them when they're a little more, a little more rounded. Yeah, that should do. That's probably exactly what I had before, but whatever. Uh, facial hair. I do have that. Let's go with this guy. Yeah. And this is not quite that dark. Not quite that dark. Yeah, let's go with that. I like that. Let's do... I don't have glasses, don't have piercings. Let's go with some clothing. Um, ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that's so stylish. I get to wear a sport coat. Navy suit, yes, please. Looking good, Daddy. Looking good. Uh, first name. First name. Connor. Jesus. That's my name. Please do not wear it out. Be that be dad. That dad. Hello. Oh, I get to be a dad. I mean, not a real dad, but like a video game dad. Minimize eating fried foods. Oh, dear. I can't get all the dad tips. Did you fall asleep packing? Probably. Probably. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room. Looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. What is this special box about? Wait, straggler. Mm. What's in it? I don't know. Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yes. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Okay, so there are old photos. Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, baby photos. It's that coolest baby I've ever seen. I dare say. Look at those cool sunglasses. Such a cool kid. Wow. Uh, do, did, was this... Um, if I'm gonna be dating da other dads, I might as well, you know, just go, you know. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. I wear my sunglasses as a baby. It's just the first thing I thought of. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. Nice. Good. Good dragon. <laughs> nice. I like it. I'm gonna be saying nice a lot just because I already feel like I'm gonna love this game. Oh my gosh, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. I love it. I love it so much. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? Maybe because you cried. You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Makes sense. Sounds like solid psychology, mm. right? Yeah, definitely repress that memory, as any normal person would, quite frankly. If I, if I found out that I was dressed up as a dinosaur princess, and was frightened by myself, I feel like I would try to forget that. This was you in your horse face. Everyone's got a horse face. Except for me, I didn't really have a horse face, but a lot of people have horse phases. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. It's a good name. I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. I have those. I have long arms. So, it's often very easy for me to keep things away from people. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Yeah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. <gasps> ska band. Oh, gosh. Ouch, kid. The Skommunist man Manifest... <sighs> <laughs> oh, I've seen that pun already from what I watched and other playthroughs of it, but it's so it gets me every time. That's just a perfect pun right there. Oh, we had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Oh, that sick ska man. Hey, it's Emma, it's Emma P. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P till high school. Oh. Okay, so many Emmas. 
Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop putting those two up. Aww. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Okay, I'll try. Oh, right, Emma P was the one who, um... Trying to steal people's pets, fired a playing tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. I like I like the story. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the f police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket. Right? Yeah. Dad, that was you. Well, this father's got a little bit of a history then. Oh, right. I was a wild child. Mm. I was six when you did it. Well then. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Makes sense to me. It's a solid alibi. Ugh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. I'm sure that went well. They didn't believe me either. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'll show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. I bet. First photography award you ever won. Oh, it's so cool, little oh, ladybug. Her big bright eyes. She looks so hopeful. Got a twenty dollar gift card to Mick Fridays. That's nice. Yes. That's cool. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada blasts. I don't know why I decided I needed to say Tosta Tostada with an actual accent, but here we are. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. We're funny. We're funny in this game. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. <gasps> oh, neither of us say the word. Say a word. We stare at the moment for a long. Stare at the photo for a long moment. <sighs> Finally, decided to break the silence. This was the day you were born. Yeah. It's uh, kind of a funny story. Honestly, you got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out as I would. And the old little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out as one would. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand, he looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him, and he says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. Uh, well, about what? I stared at the picture for longer, maybe too long. Oh, she was right about us being okay. Which we are. We are very okay, as it seems. I miss him. Yeah, he looks like a cool guy from the slight facial hair and smile and the fact that he's happily holding a baby. These are all good signs. Can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on the back. Uh oh. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. No, it will not. You're right. Eh? Amanda and I pile into the car and make one last look at the old house. Hmm. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Wow. How old am I to still have such amazing hair? Who knows? Hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a teasing thing. I think, maybe. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? It's my favorite thing to be, to pretend to be. You were a very imaginative child. Yeah! Hey, remember when I broke the back window? Forget it, Amanda. You break stuff. Particularly windows. You seem to have a specialty in those. Huh. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Yeah, yeah. That's the attitude to have. Memories to make and stuff to break. We're making oh. rhymes already. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get into the car and get the car into the position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house. 
disappear into the rearview mirror. So, so what? So sell me out on a cool new path. All right, I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice, because obviously I have one of those. <laughs> Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Uh, which are multiple places to sleep. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. That was a... that was a wink. What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week, it's not. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Good. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. She was a good spin. Yeah. I think it's great. We won't, won't be, we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? So am I. At some point. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Nice. Well, well said, me. I don't know how to do that either. Neither do I. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty mm -hmm. quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teams after one. Heck, I am the rowdy team that you that I will have to chase off the lawn. I will have to chase myself off the lawn. You are the very team you mock when you say that, honey. Huh. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. She's like super old. Yeah, you're a real huh. old. Don't you dare. Senior hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. It's, I'm, it's like they took my personality and programmed it into a game. I'm so happy. Huh. I'm just gonna ignore ah. that. You do that, Amanda. I won't forget it. Okay. What's, no, what's item number one on the new house agenda? First, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. So I have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We get some work done and then check the area out. Alright, we pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hi ya! Alright, on that hi ya, I am going to have to end this episode here. I am so excited for where this is gonna go. I am so excited. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click that like button. There will be many more to come. If you got a comment uh, as to how things are going, as to what, if you have any comments on my, you know, dad persona, um, feel free to leave those down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, it's a great time to do so, because I'm just getting started. So, I'll see you later.